North America, legends of the foreign exchange game. Privateer FX, just doing a bit of a rundown here. Uh, as you saw on our morning European call, we like this sterling yen lower and the sterling lower, both of which have accommodated our call. Although, I'll just show you the one minute on cable very very choppy that 08 low first time down was a bit tricky all the way back up to 35 but since then we haven't really been over 20 and we look to be heading left cable is going to run into some support here first time down 80 uh, this will be a medium term pivot in the New York area something to watch more importantly, the sterling yen, also choppy, but fairly standard sterling yen price action, is now approaching our key 147.80 level. Uh, we like this to break in the next couple of hours. So core shorts and sterling yen is the call. Um, keep an eye for it. Keep an eye out for it. Right now, it's right around the figure. You probably get easily be able to get paid somewhere 05, 06, um, and then just try and carry those shorts, and then see what happens down at 80. Anyway, what else do we have? Dollar yen is not moving up too too well. We broke 32 and printed a 38 and a half high. Pretty meaningless on the longer term, as we spoke about this morning. Euro looks to be doing very, very little. We printed 92, then we went back up to 20. We're going through 80 as we speak right now. There should be some short-term stops here. But until we get through 60, this looks like it's kind of a buy down here. And if you want to play the range, go ahead. Very tough way to make money, in my opinion. But we don't really expect any kind of watershed euro dollar lower just to dovetail again what we talked about this morning this dollar swiss worked pretty well up until 36 but then we had this very very annoying painful bar down to 10 uh, which caught me I puked him down there around 14 but this does look relatively constructive still and certainly on the bigger time frames it's going to look even better that four hourly bar is marginally bullish and if we take a take a move up through 35 today in New York we're going to end up with a pretty bullish day uh, and it could be the start of the renewed bullish action in dollar Swiss after this failed break of the 200 day Euro Yen getting hit a little bit but we really, don't, we really don't have any interest until 131.20, so we won't spend too much time on that. Aussie lower, but nothing really to write home about. And finally, dollar CAD has broken that 70 area we talked about and followed through pretty nicely. This was, this was a nice little trade this morning. You took a little bit of pain here. Oops, sorry, 70. You took a little bit of pain here down to 54. But second time through 70 has really paid. And we're seeing dollar cad up at 0607. If you believe that OPEC is going to screw things up on Thursday, dollar cad higher could be your vehicle. Although, to be fair, not much to do here right now. The next point of interest, of course, is 128.36, which we talked about last week. Uh, finally, something I rarely trade, but the setup is pretty nice. Dollar Mexico. Mexico. We got this beautiful sort of long-tailed daily candle here. That high was 60.60. 60. 
we nipped above it this morning 61.23 as a rule I don't really get involved in Mexico until Mexico City is involved or at least New York City is involved ideally both um, so that 8 a.m. New York time or 9 a.m. New York time uh, is max liquidity and these are where the pros in dollar max come into play and can really drive price action Europe typically has no idea what to do with dollar max so I just tend to stay away but anyway have a look at this uh, for the New York session 1861 might get some legs if we hop through that you see it on the hourlies here um, could call it a little head and shoulders here. Have a look. Finally, uh, again, because this is all anyone seems to care about, we have our little Bitcoin chart. Done basically nothing, 98.50 the low. We're hanging around this 9900 level. Again, uh, just to repeat, be cautious up here. If you're first, if you're just getting into Bitcoin, keep it a very 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 light touch you're very very late uh, look for pullbacks wait and see how this 10,000 area works and keep an eye on what and when the CME is coming in alright I've said enough I will let you guys get going have a good day I will talk to you tomorrow at the European Open. Ciao.